This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson's part of the Express course and Course D. It's Lesson 14 in the Express course and Lesson 11 for Course D. Puzzle 12. Flatten all of these piles using as few blocks as possible. Oh my goodness. Okay, well it looks like stairs, so that gives me hope because we can use a loop probably. I can only, they want me to use less than 10 blocks. All right. So first, I'm going to want to move forward to, and then turn left, then move forward to, and then turn right. And then move forward to, hmm, I'm just going to start dragging blocks forward, forward, remove. And I can figure out loops in a second. I just want to look for a pattern, if there is one. Let's try that much. Remove, turn, up, up, right, over, once, over. Yep, I'm going to use more blocks than I need because I just want to see. Remove. Oh, but these are remove three. Ah. So if it's different types of remove, I'm probably going to use a while there's a pile. Because that will save me some blocks. So while there's a pile, remove them. And then let's go ahead and turn left. Up. Up. Right. And sometimes when I don't see how to use the loop yet, I, draw, I do put all the code out there because it makes it easier. And then I want to remove that pile if I, that's where I end up. Let's try all this code. Okay, so that got me up there. Now where can I use loops? Move forward, move forward. Do I ever do that more than twice? Twice. But I need to turn. Where do I turn? Left, right. Well. Move forward, move forward, remove. Move forward, move forward, remove. Even though it's in a loop, I'm going to grab it there. Pause. Looks like a repeating code. I could use this here and it'd be the same. And then that's all the same, that's all the same, that's all the same. All of that's identical. Okay. So we're getting somewhere. Well, if all that's identical, let's get rid of that. And let's put this. I know I need to do it at least twice. What's this going to do? And then maybe go forward one more time. And up. Let's try that. If we wanted, we could use wall path for these move forwards. But ah, uh, Perfect. So we used one big loop, and then we used one nested loop inside of here. If you wanted, you could also use wall path ahead here instead of using two move forwards but since it's just two you could also do it down here i left it as move forward but something like that would work too and so now we have three four loops we have one big loop that makes all the code inside of it repeat three times 
And so we run this wall loop three times, this wall loop three times, and that wall loop three times. Getting complicated. Awesome. Let's keep going. 